I don't know what's going on with me today, but usually my speech is all out of whack, but today my thoughts are all, and my speech and my thoughts. My thoughts are all out of whack. I don't even know how to start, but we're gonna start. I'm sorry about how design fans, but the light bar is off. Then it's right here. If anybody's interested in it, let me know. We also went ahead and removed the whips. So the Martian whips are right there. These are magnetic whips, so. Ow, ow, I pinched my finger. All right, so I goes to show you how strong this magnet is. But anyways, they're magnetic. I can't do this with one hand, but. Anyways, you get the point. They're magnetic, so if anybody's interested on those, there you are off and they're off for sale. I took these off to these springies, they're for the whips, they're the whip mounts, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I might keep them just in case I wanna run them on mine. And since I like to run them straight up, adding those is just gonna, it's gonna push this to sit up here, and therefore the whip's gonna be higher up, and I don't know if I want a skyscraper as a whip, but I'm gonna keep them just in case. Oh, we also took off this seat belt. So right now we're gonna move on to the mirrors. We're gonna take off these mirrors, and I think I'm gonna try to take off that seat belt back there as well. Let's just get into the video. It's just gonna be an L and wrench on this side, and I dropped it. Once we trace the wire, we'll we'll find the switch if they were even uh, powered or not. I can't show you guys how they light up at night. I can't even tell you if they're good or not because I never found the switch. I think the previous owner told me he paid. I think he said like 160 bucks, 180. I don't know where he got them, um, but I think I found them on Amazon for about 120 bucks. Let's finish getting these mirrors off and we'll move on to the next part. And these things are tight, but I guess they're seatbelts, so they have to be tight, right? You know what though, this seatbelt works. Or wait, did I speak too soon? No, yeah, it works. I think I, I think I just twisted it myself and I messed it up. No, I think I am gonna take it off. It's being a pain to be retracted. And now it's stuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull it off and buy new ones, so. Some weird's going on around here because for like the last 15 minutes, I couldn't find my camera and I could have sworn I put it there and I looked all over the shop for it and I didn't find it and it ended up being that it was right there but i looked there and it wasn't let's move on to devin's favorite part of this the butt he says that these things have a an ugly butt but who's devin to speak right himself has an ugly butt so oh those things have an ugly butt Motherfucker, you have an ugly butt. Nobody tells you anything. Oh, but he's so quick to judge about other people's butts and shit. Straight to the trash where it belongs. Before anybody comments about my huffing and puffing, my ass is going to the gym already, okay? I didn't go today, but I'm trying to get back in shape. My girlfriend out here calling me papi panzas and shit. And that's not cool. The plastic's off and it looks much better. I have a new piece right here that I'm gonna be replacing it with. But I honestly think it looks better without it. I think with it, it just makes it look cheap. Well, not cheap, but I don't know. I think this for some reason, just being all open gives it more of an aggressive look. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. If I do leave it off though, I am gonna have a um, Senor Montelongo sour coat this because this thing is nasty. So in case this exhaust doesn't clean up, which it should because it just looks like it's rust, um, probably from like the cooler when it drains or some shit. But in case this exhaust does not clean up, what I can do is take off my exhaust and put it on this one. Take this one off and throw it in the trash, and then that'll give me a reason to, an excuse to buy an aftermarket exhaust for mine. But then again, I don't know if I wanna buy an, ex, an aftermarket exhaust on mine because there is this one exhaust 
that has a, a valve that opens and closes, but that shit mad expensive. And I don't know if I want to drop that type of money on, on the Can-Am. Regardless, I think we're going to leave that plastic off and we're going to get that exhaust cleaned up and sour coated. So on to the next part. Looks cleaner back here. I don't think cleaner is a thing we're looking for because when you have a Can-Am or I'm going to stop saying Can-Am. When you have a side-by-side, -side, you want to have it clean and organized, but there is a lot of stuff that goes on these things because you want a bunch of stuff on them. But the purpose for this one looks cleaner. So I would really like to remove these harnesses next, but I think what we got to do next is clean because we got straps, we got water bottles, we got, what is that? Sunflower seeds? There's a mess on this thing in. Word of advice, if anybody's gonna tear their cannibal apart, clean it, wash it, because it makes the job a lot easier. Then you're gonna have dirt and all this stuff on your fingers and it just, ugh. You're gonna have to go get a manicure afterwards. I decided to move on to the windshield to take it off and come to find out that it's not even bolted or anything. I literally just pushed it up and this is how it came up. I said I was gonna transfer this windshield to my can but then again, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know if I like it anymore. Um, the fact that it doesn't go bolt down, or maybe it does, and this guy just threw it on like that, but like it needs a new weather strip, like kind of fucked up right there, fucked up right here. And well, you guys know me and my LCD, I don't think I'll be able to live with that. But anyways, let's continue to take it off and we'll see. Oh shit, I better be careful because I'm not trying to buy another plastic right there. There you go. That is crazy. Who's calling us during productions? Babe, don't you know that I'm blogging right now? Hello. Hi, little baby. Say hi to YouTube. Huh? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, you're interrupting my productions. <laughs> it's okay, I'm a little more important, sorry. Over the period of speaking on the phone, I managed to take off the driver's side mirror and I came to realize that along with the windshield, all this shit has been poorly done. Look at this. <laughs> Come on, Junior, at least the butt plug, buddy. If you guys are gonna do some installs on your side-by-side, -side, take the time and do it right. This shit's fucking missing all the screws, look. More than likely, the audio's gonna come off anyways. Batman hasn't given me an answer yet, so. I have my stock pieces here from mine. These are the ones that go right here. Previous owner didn't give a fuck about his shit. Put my hat on, cause my hair's all crazy. But I do, so once we take off these speakers and replace them with those panels, I'm gonna order new um, new hardware. And also I was thinking, I think I'm gonna order a new front fascia, or if anybody's selling one, let me know. Because this right here, I don't really like it. Make it easier on my end, and make it more pretty for whoever wins it, or whoever buys it, or if I decide to keep it. So since we're on the subject of doing shit half-assed, watch this. There's a rock light right here, right? Which leads to, oh, right here. So yeah, it's not connected to anything. So let's pull it. My suspicions was right. It's not connected. There's also some rock lights over here. There's one right there. There's one on the other side, but I don't see any wire in them. So judging, book by its cover that he didn't take his time when he installed that i'm gonna assume he didn't take his time and ran the wire through the back of this and if he did i'm gonna take my words back and i'm gonna bow down and give him props because that's some clean ass work so this shit's either wireless they're not plugged in or he just did a really clean job on the wire but we'll find out when we take those off you know what i never thought about it like that because i have a spare rock light 
You could actually just wire it to a switch direct and have interior lights. I'm gonna do that because I have two extra ones. So I guess something good came out of this today. I got a bright idea. So this strap or this flap, all you gotta do is you just pull it up, you pull it through, right? Once you pull it through, you pull it back through the back one and then it literally, it just goes loops in the harness, comes off, and there you go. We're doing good so far. Great progress, great progress. Great progress, keep it going. It's dark out there already. And look what I found, some pink goggles. Anybody want pink goggles? No? Trashito, because I don't know where they've been, you know, and plus they're all janked up, so. Before I give you guys an update, on everything we've uh, done since the last clip, I wanna show you guys some exciting news. I found something. I found my tripod. Let me show you guys where it was at. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm taking off the seat. So, I need a socket, right? I bring the toolbox, and I start looking for a socket. So I just started doing my hand like this. I know it's not a big socket, so I right off the bat start bringing out the big ones and putting them aside. Big ones aside. All of a sudden I go, wait, this is, what is this? Is it trash? Obviously I didn't look at it, right? But I went, wait, it's too light for a socket. Oh shit, my tripod. Long story short, my tripod was in the socket box. Now on to the update. We got the seat out, obviously. The seat's right there. We got the harnesses out, and as I suspected, none of the rock lights were plugged in. A total of six lights, all of them with just a loose wire in there. All the trash is out, the coolers over there draining, those waters were inside. Now I'm gonna test them out, see if they're still good. They're going to the garbijo. I kept hearing something when I was taking off the seat, and I thought it was a seat, but now the seat's off. Something else is making a noise in here. And it almost sounds like a beer can or a can. I'm not gonna say beer because what if it's a soda can? Show the pot. We might get this roof off just because I have um someone that might want to buy it. So in case they come through, the roof is already off. Maybe. I wasn't even selling it, they actually just asked me if I would sell it. So why not, right? I have a better one in there. But that one's actually kind of fucked up. There's another plastic to this side. Don't forget, it takes one second to hit that like button. It takes one second to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And it takes two seconds to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the build. I know it's barely part two technically, but we're getting there. We'll get to the exciting part once everything starts tearing apart and getting paint on. So, we out. Peace.